Good morning, everybody. It's the freaking weekend. I'm just checking I can't see you changing in the background. No, can't see that. It's Saturday. I'm just going to put you here and just talk. <laughs> we have my mum, my nan, and my granddad arriving any minute now. And I'm not dressed. And Alfie's not dressed. <laughs> This is what I'm... Yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Got my little 90s top on that I actually bought from Primark like a while ago. And then these which are my Zara like tie up culottes. Alfie has a t-shirt and some pants. <laughs> so my nan and granddad are coming with my mum and I'm so excited because the last time they came to see the house we just got it and it looked quite different to how it is now. So I'm excited to see like their reaction and to show them round and because I don't feel like they would have seen much of our vlogs. So for them, this is probably gonna be like a first time seeing like all of it, which just makes it a little bit more special, I think. My mum went and picked them up at 7 a.m. <laughs> Savage mother. Just got to wait for them to arrive now. I don't know how much I will film of them just because like my nan doesn't like being on camera, my mum doesn't mind, my granddad doesn't actually mind. Um, but I think it's just gonna be like a weekend of chilling really. I hope the weather stays nice. That's it, that's what, that's what we're doing. Me and Alfie have snuck off because we want to go and get lunch for everybody and we're also buying uh, everything we need for dinner. I decided to do sausages, mashed potato and onion gravy. And we have some veg as well. It looks like you're wearing, have you got like something round your neck? Looks like you've got dungarees on. No. It's the, oh, it's your little fanny oh, pack. It's my, uh, yeah, my fanny pack. And it's your little fanny pack. <laughs> I haven't even got anything in it. Literally everything's in my pocket. Then why are you wearing it? Just, you know, fashion. A fashion statement. My grandparents love the house, which is so nice. I just yeah, said, what was your it. favorite room? They like the bedroom <laughs> and the wardrobe, which is cool. I pulled muscles from no, the inflator. I you have. Haven't. Zoe's never worked out in her life. Like, ha never ever gone to the me, gym. Excuse me, how do you know that? You've only known me five years. And I know that you've never been to the gym. Zoe's never There's ever worked out. There's a vlog where I went to the gym with you, yeah, Alfie. Yeah, and you moved your legs like twice. Basically, Zoe's never ever gone to the gym before. So, she thinks that her arms aching from using them is the same as pulling a muscle. I've put, okay, I know the difference between aching muscles and pulling a muscle. Yes, I do. I did <laughs> PE in school. <laughs> what, like I rounders? I pulled my right buttock and it no, hurts Zoe's, Zoe's, so Zoe's, much. Zoe's glutes ache because she no, used them No, it's not even both of them. It's one of them. That's how I know I've pulled it. Okay. It really hurts. Alfie's trying to say that I haven't. No, what I'm trying to say is Dom's from when you go to the gym can really hurt, but what? it doesn't mean you what? pull up muscle. From the gym? Doms. Doms. So when your like, arms, when you ache, it's like your muscles aching, it's called doms. Is that like gym speak or is that what it's I actually mean, called? Yeah, but that's what it's Never heard called. that before in my life. Yeah, so if you get really bad doms, like you're really oh, my achy. Really bad doms. Yeah, exactly. So you haven't pulled a muscle, you just got bad doms. No, I've pulled a muscle in this armpit and this ass cr creek. Cheek. Oh, your ass crack. Ass creak. Your ass creak. <laughs> no, no, no. My ass cheek. My right ass cheek. Oh, the sun's coming out. Yay. You're so mean. I'm I have pulled mean. a muscle in my ass cheek. Okay. I Let's know I the have. appointment. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious right now? I always sit on these if they're long. Get yeah. some relaxing time in, you know? Oh my god. Like, that's the thing. Do you not do that? No. <laughs> I always do that. As we walked in, we got handed this list for the local food bank, which is nice. We can put, buy some things. Tin soup, baked beans, fruit juice, long life carton. Food bank done. Not gonna lie, I could really eat a rich tea right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> with like, a cup of tea. <laughs> got our little lunch. Well, I'm not the biggest sushi eater, am I? <laughs> and this is Nan's first time having sushi. Mm. And we've got some little rolls and sandwiches. Got myself a little mint tea and I am just about to quickly edit. I say quickly, we all know it's not gonna be quickly, but I'm gonna edit my vlog from yesterday. I love how um, we're ca casually just listening to Shaggy. Is this Shaggy? 
<laughs> As I may have said before, my mum helps me with any fan mail that I get because there's a lot to try and keep on top of, which is ever so lovely of you. So thank you if you ever do send me a letter. And we're going through some of it now. And it's so cute. I've got these earrings. Oh, which one was this from? That was from... So these are handmade laser cut jewellery by the company Millie by the Sea. Um, so you can check them on Etsy and on Instagram. So thank you so much. They're Lauren. so cool. Lauren, honey, yeah, Lauren. And we've got this little package, yeah, which is so cute. You haven't opened the card no. yet. So let's have a look. Oh, those are the things that you can stick in cakes. Like in a cake. Isn't that cool? You're a whole lot of lovely. Ah. And look, this is a picture of, I'm assuming, her dog. We haven't read the letter yet. Henry loves Nala. Oh. So I feel Jenny oh, after editing my vlog. <laughs> the inflatable vlog. Oh my god, the camera was so shaky. I legit feel sick. Like, how weird is that that, that can happen? To Zoe, this is just a little package of goodies from our new decor range. We thought the banner slogans were right up your street. We sent you and Mark matching ones. Hope you like them. Sophie, Jenny, and Henry the dog. Oh, cute. Oh, so these are the banners. Oh, I open one and see what it says? Henry. And that's Henry. <laughs> Mark, one of these is for you. Oh, I love that. Stay weird. <laughs> That's very appropriate for you and Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. I love that. I'm going to put that in my office because it's all like, um, off my, like my office theme. Stay weird. Stay weird. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I'm not sure <laughs> and then look at these. I haven't opened this card yet. So these are like hand-drawn illustrations. This is Bath. So this is the city. It was our nearest city, wasn't it, where yep. we live? So this is where we went, like when we went shopping or like into town. It's a very nice beautiful shopping. city. Yes, yeah, they're lovely, aren't yeah. they? And they've done some of London. Aww. Did she do this card? Yeah, she did. She's an illustrator. She's very From Bath, person. actually. Dear Zoe, I'm an illustrator working in Bath with my lovely assistant Georgie and we are super excited to see on your Instagram that you have come to the city as we are avid fans. We absolutely could not resist sending you a little something to remind you of the city. Oh, Aww. Nice. So, this, so these are from Alice and Georgie and you can find them on Instagram, Alice underscore Tate underscore illustrates and also the underscore Barthomian. <laughs> Thank you guys. And we've done some of the world. Map of the world. Oh, and map of London. They're nice, aren't they? That's lovely. Thank you so much. Also got a lovely variety of pins. So this one is from the, the Black Pug Press. Black Pug Club. I said I need to get one of these for Amanda. She would love that. And then we've got Goats and Totes, Keep Going and Love Wins. I love this one. This one's so cute. And then loads by a company called Old English Company, which are all amazing. I really like this one. Donut Worry. And I like this one. High five. Get stuff done. Oh, I want a bear hug. Oh, I want to bear hug you. Amazing. Also have these lovely prints of London and Paris by a girl called Andrea. And her Etsy shop is type typographicsco.etsy.com they're so cool there's a lot of very talented people in the world this is such a good idea so this is a collar and tag she's put i don't think nala will get arrested for being naked in public as she wears a harness but i wanted to make a tag especially for her i hope she likes it so this is baxtersboutique.co.uk cheryl and baxter and it's so cute, so it says Nala on it, and it says, not a daily vlogger. But then on the back, which I really like, instead of having a number, it says, I'm lost but chipped, please scan me, which is so good, because she is chipped. But we don't tend to keep something with our number on just because we film her all the time. Um, so that's perfect, thank you so much. I don't know if any of you saw this on my Twitter, but Finley, this is by Finley Elliot. I just could not believe how amazing it was. <laughs> Bless you, Grandad. <laughs> because he, like, I feel like he's really captured Nala. Yeah. Like, it's not just like 
a black pug that is Nala and I just I just absolutely love this I want to put this up in my house thank you so much oh, Finley what did he say dear Zoe here's my portrait of Nala I really hope you like it as much in person yeah I did see it online I always watch your videos and thought she would be a great subject to paint thank you so much for retweeting it like mo most artists I'm full of self-doubt and that gave me some much needed confidence looking forward to seeing what you're up to this year I hope 2017 is full of exciting things for you oh that's so nice Shows you other. That lovely. You have absolutely nothing to feel worried about. Your art is incredible. Look at this, Nan. Gracious me, that's hand drawn. Yeah, right? painted. Look, Nala. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it's her. Look at her. Look at her. That's like looking <laughs> in a mirror. <laughs> Isn't it's it? Different jumps, huh? So we're just preparing dinner. <laughs> This is I need, vlog worthy. I need to vlog how you peel potatoes. After goes, this this peeler's awful. I'm like, I don't think most people peel a potato like that. So then mum showed him how to do it. <laughs> he tried to do it. Do it how my mum just showed you. I can't, otherwise I'll cut myself. You're gonna cut yourself like that, I think. No. You may as well use a knife if you're gonna do that, I think. <laughs> I mean, oh, no. You're using it like um There we go. Like a what are they like a pen knife? But look, now it's just got tons of chunks. Like, potato. Yeah, that's how I do it. We're told. There's a lot of mash because Alfie's mum and dad are also coming for dinner as well, which will be really nice. And thankfully we did buy the biggest sausages we could find. So it oh, should look at this, be look fine. At this. That's how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to glide it. Oh. No no. No, I look. Potato. No, let me show you. Hold this. Oh my god, you're like chiseling it. I told you, I'm gonna cut right. myself. <laughs> you hold the potato with your thumb, you hold the bottom of the potato, and then you just glide down. Do you see? So you go like that. Yeah, but I can't do that. Why? Maybe Otherwise we, sh we should set. switch I jobs. I think your thumb, because you're, you're not using your thumb, it's dangerous. You're like, you're going away from you, but you have to come towards you. Here you go. Have another go. <laughs> Life lessons of Zoe. <laughs> That's it. That's it. No, I don't like that. Alfie, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> no, he, he prefers his way, Mum. It's fine. Just get the plasters on standby. <laughs> Just unbox the posters. Oh my god, they're sick. Sug Life XPB. So you guys might be familiar with the Joe and Zoe face. Is this really heavy? Are you like, yeah, I'm like I need to put part. this down? <laughs> put it down. Um, but we had an Alfie face. Oh, look at your little stubble. I know. So we had an Alfie face this is made. My bit. There's little ball gaps here from where I can't grow my stubble, oh, can yeah. I? So these are only, these are exclusive um, posters. So we and won't... there's a different colour as well. What's the other colour again? White. White. Okay, and so then we're going to sign underneath each one. Yeah. So Joe's going to sign there. I'm going to sign there. Alfie's going to sign there. And we have quite a few to do, so. Quite a few thousand. Yeah, we need to probably get cracking on that. <laughs> what's, what's that? <laughs> What's so funny is... <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny is in Pets at Home when Alfie bought this, because it's for cats, but when he bought this, the lady went, oh, my cat loves it, and Alfie went, oh, we're going to see if it works on our dogs because they're like cats. <laughs> so don't worry, if it works on any dogs, it'll be ours. Look, he can't see it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> What's mummy got? What's mummy got? <laughs> Buzzy, help her! Buzzy, help mummy! Oh, no! <laughs> it's on mummy's feet! It's on mummy's feet! <laughs> Let have a go. So you have to do it really slow so they can follow it. <laughs> this is how you tire them out. Dinner 
is finished and everyone is now in the living room. It looks like I've made mum clear up. Look at you like in, I've been unloading the dishwasher and helping. I've just, this literally, I only got my camera out because we're on the last pan. So I was like, oh, I'll do it now. But it does look like mum's just doing everything. <laughs> but she did do a lot. You did help. I don't think we would have had a dinner if you didn't help me. I mean, we wouldn't have had any pudding. <laughs> I bought the cream and the custard and put the ice cream out. I was like waitress for the evening. You were, a very good waitress yeah. actually. Yeah. Um, so now everyone is chilling in the living room by the fire. We've discovered that my nan is the ultimate quiz master. She's got every question in this one. Great fruit. Oh, she would ace this program. Nan, you should go on this. No, she should be the chaser. You could be the chaser. You should be the actual chaser. No. You could. If you're watching, please put my nan on your show. <laughs> yeah, you should do that. Would you ever go on a quiz? Would you ever go on one? I did, I did really want to go on one. Yeah. Did you not? Did they not want you to go on? Oh, guys, guys, bring my nan back. People are watching. Anyone who owns a chat show, hey, not a chat show, not a chat show. Get my nan on a chat show. Not a chat show, a game show. Like a question, a general knowledge quiz show. Even pointless would be good. Watch this. Watch how good she is. If Mr. Pointless Man is watching. Yeah. And if no one replies to this message, it's because you're scared that she'd savage your show. <laughs> Good morning everybody. It is now Sunday and this morning I got up, I came downstairs, and my mum helped me sign all of these. So Alfie had already signed these ones, so I've signed those. And then I finished off this one. I'm not sure how many we're actually gonna get done before the shop opens on Wednesday, but uh, we'll see. It really hurt my wrist though, because I think signing all my tip-ins for my Girl Online books sort of screwed my wrist up a little bit. Mum said it's probably repetitive strain, something, injury, I don't know, but my wrist really hurts. In my last weekend vlog, lots of you are, did you think I was talking to you then? <laughs> Mum was like, oh, yes. In my last weekend vlog, lots of you said, how did you do that egg thing? I mean, it's really straightforward, but I can show you. So you will need some crusty bread. I actually had bagels last time, but crusty bread generally works better. Some balsamic glaze, not balsamic vinegar. Some sweet and nutty sesame seeds, which are going all over the counter. Some smoked paprika. And today I'm gonna put a little bit of salad cress on top, just for a bit of garnish, it looks nice. And eggs. Mum got these eggs from, where did you get these from, Mum? Um, my neighbour's got Ah, oh, Mum's neighbour. <laughs> my neighbour grows these, chick these chicken eggs. This one um, is actually covered in poo. <laughs> You know where an egg comes from? Who wants that one? <laughs> so these eggs will be lovely. So eggs and some tomatoes, which I've put a little bit of balsamic vinegar on and then um, some black pepper and some like cracked salt. And the balsamic vinegar I've used is this one, which Amanda actually bought for me and Alfie from Italy. And it is so good. Oh look, this is like summer fruits flavor. Oh, I didn't realize. The reason I love it is because it's in a little spray, so you can get like on each of the tomatoes. It's like perfect for that. Um, and she also bought us, oh, maybe this one would have probably been nicer. Basil oil. That probably would have been nicer, but I do like balsamic, so. Some tomatoes. Then you want a bowl of cold water for putting your eggs in once they have boiled. And plates. And that's it really. It's very straightforward. Um, but it is, it's pretty much all in the presentation, which is like my favorite bit anyway. So I'll show you as I'm doing it. Also decided I'm gonna put a tiny bit of torn up basil as well, just for a bit more flavor. A bit more flavor flav. We've got the 
water for the eggs. It was boiling water because it was from the boiling water tap, but I just need to get it simmering in the pan. A little ladle to put the eggs in and out because the last thing you want is to drop your egg in and for it to crack and then the egg leaks everywhere because that makes life very difficult. First thing I'm going to do is put the tomatoes into the oven for around 10 mins. Little Tom's cooking away. Now I'm going to try and put all these eggs in very quickly around the same time. Do you put eggs in with like a spoon or a ladle? Uh, yes, a spoon. Because then otherwise they crack sometimes crack. If, you, if you pop them in too, too fast, they I'll hit the bottom. <laughs> Do them all at the same time. Oh, that's a massive one. I wonder if it's going to be a double yoker. Do you remember we always used to get double yoker? Yes. Mm. Used to go and get them from that little shed along the road where yeah. you had an honesty box and you just had to pick your own eggs. Oh my god, yeah. And then honestly, leave the money. Did you ever not leave any money? No. I, I did pick the biggest eggs though, I must oh, admit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Eggs now in there for five minutes. Next one. Now is the bit where you get your ladle and you take all your eggs out and you put them into the cold water to stop them from continuing to cook. And then the cold water means you can put your hands in and get the shells off, which is good. We've also now put toast on. There we go. There is my big bowl of eggs. Now mum's gonna have to help me get all the <laughs> shell off. So we've got a bowl for the shell, but it's also quite easy to do it inside water and we're just de-shelling all the eggs so they look like that. <laughs> so mum's helping me do that. And I'm now buttering the toast. The toast is buttered. I'm gonna take the eggs. One. Oh. Two, pop them on like that, one, it's a big egg, two, and then it's time to decorate. A little bit of smoked paprika. Balsamic drizzle. around the plate because it looks pretty. Sesame seeds on the top and on the balsamic drizzle all the way around. You okay, Mum? Yeah. <laughs> to cut the tomatoes if you can. Quite hard to cut. A little bit of press and a little bit of basil. Basil. Just tear that. Bit of basil. Tear that. And there you go. I'm gonna let Nan and Grandad cut into their eggs though. That one's like a bit. Mm, that's how oh, I actually yeah. like them. Yeah. <gasps> that's how exactly how I like my eggs. Mm. Mm. <laughs> We've had an invasion of white butterflies. They're so pretty. Look, they're around you, Granddad. Yeah. They're giving you a little dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh! Is it gonna go out? No. Oh. <gasps> yeah, yeah. That way. That way. No. <laughs> Mum's doing the like butterfly out the door dance. Oh, Mum. Oh, cabbage whites, kill them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we were just saying how beautiful they look, Nan. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. She's just noticed I've got the camera. 
No. Just pretty white butterflies. <laughs> Mum, are you trying to blow it? <laughs> this is like that game, you know, the one with the elephant nose or something, and you've got a net and it blows them out. You're naughty. <laughs> Look how relaxed she looks. Yes. My mum has the coolest yeah. trainers on. Where did you get these from? TK Maxx. TK Maxx. They're children's ones. <laughs> now you know where I get my small feet from. Every time I buy Zoe's shoes, they say, oh, they've got the same ones in kid size, which is the same size, but just cheaper. Uh, and I'm like, so Alfie's like, yeah, I'll do that. No, I'm not. I say I can't buy my 27-year-old girlfriend kid's shoes. So I just pay <laughs> Why more. not? I pay for the more expensive ones. Like 20 quid You're so expensive. silly. It's the AT you're paying. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's true. Save the money and buy me and something I else. Buy, oh, I'm just buying, why are you in the kids section just buy my girlfriend some shoes? <laughs> bit weird. They're so, I'm actually so jealous of them. They're so They're cool. cool. Even Joe likes them. Does he? Yeah. My them? eyes are watering already. I think I'm having an allergic reaction to my mascara. What are you doing? I think, oh, do you know what it probably is? What's that? Because whenever I do my eye makeup, my eyes start watering, but I think it's my mascara because my mascara is quite old. Oh, it might be. Probably Jess. <sighs> you are supposed to get rid of um, your mascara every three months. You should use a new mascara and wash your every brushes. three months and wash your brushes. Um, so, yeah, maybe I need to put a new mascara on. I've just realised that might be what it is. You're not letting me see what? My brushes. <laughs> oh, are they really dirty? I've told you off for that before, Mum. Anna, <laughs> where are we? We're at the seaside. <laughs> it's so nice. Oh, can you like really smell not very the? Windy either. No, and you can really smell the like sea air. It's so good. if they tried. <laughs> Nana and Grandad are having a little pit stop at the bench. So me, Mum, Alfie and Nala have come down along the beach huts to get a few little snaps, took some nice pictures. It's such a nice day. It's not too windy. What's cool? Oh, they're doing skating round. God, it looks so like fluid. Rubber legs. Yeah. <laughs> I could never do that. Do you remember me and Alex used to? Yeah. Well, you brought you... some blades the other day. I should have brought my roller skates. Yeah. I could do that. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember me and Alex used to um, roller skate around Lake Court? Yeah. Alfie, did you ever roll a blade? Yeah. Are you good at it? Can you do like stuff like that? I mean, I've never done that. <laughs> I just did You're gonna, like, I'm gonna get home and he's gonna blade. order some rollerblades <laughs> and some cones and he's gonna be in the garden like doing that. We are on an ice cream mission. I went for a, what was it? Pomegranate, no, Raspberry. passion fruit and cherry, black cherry. I'm not sure about it. Oh really? No. What's yours at? You went for pistachio. Unbelievable. Oh, and chocolate. Are you dripping or am I dripping? I think you're dripping. You're no. dripping. You are out the back. <laughs> so I didn't actually like my ice cream, so <laughs> Mum's eating it. <laughs> Alfie's just gone to get me another one, bless him. I was like, no, don't worry. He was like, no, it's fine. It doesn't take too long. So he's now over there getting me another ice cream of a flavour that I might actually like. I took a risk. I've never tried it before. Wrong risk. Okay, Alfie got me a new one. <laughs> Boyfriend points right there. We now have hazelnut and banana and it is the best thing I have ever tasted. We're back now and mum and nan and granddad have just left. It was so, so nice to have them here. I loved it. Oh, I'm gonna miss them. We're gonna miss them, aren't we, Nala? Are you gonna miss them? I need to edit yesterday's vlog and then put this footage onto it and upload this. So as you're watching this, this is today. This is today as you're watching this. Oh, that's next level vlogging. That's next level Same vlogging. Day. That's that's not like next day like daily vlogs. That's like yeah, it's like a delayed Insta story. <laughs> this needs to be higher. Get comfy. We've reached a very exciting 
part of the vlog because you guys know I like to give you little sneak peeks and tasters of what is to come and for a while now I've been vlogging my office and being like oh I can't show you what's down there oh I can't show you what's down there and I still can't fully show you what's down there but I can tell you what it is so beauty gifting I talked about this briefly in my lifestyle video beauty gifting is when a beauty range comes out for Christmas time and it's mostly gifts because tis the season of giving and there's nothing better at Christmas than giving like a gift set I just bloody love working on gifting. Gifting is like my favourite thing to work on ever, I think. I mean I like working on all of them but gifting I just really really love. I can actually tell you um, what the range this Christmas for beauty is and what it smells like and I can show you a couple of the items from the range. The reason for this is, uh, some of you might actually be familiar, but Superdrug tend to do a kind of, oh what do they call it? I feel like it has a proper name and it's gone, but it's where they test shelf space um, and kind of see how things go. It's kind of like testing Christmas ranges. So this range or some of the items from this range may be going into some of the larger super drug stores. Not all of them, it's a very, very few, um, but uh, you will be seeing these products from like tomorrow. So I wanted to be the first person to share with you kind of um, the thought process behind the range, the inspiration, what the smell is and what the entire range is called and show you a couple of bits of packaging just so you get the idea. But since it is not available um, kind of across the UK yet until next month, I don't want to do like a full in-depth like this is this and this is this because I feel like it's a bit unfair to do that like so, so far in advance um, because for a lot of you, you won't be able to get these for another month but I didn't want it to be ruined by one of you walking into Superdrug and being like, wait a minute, what's this? I have no idea what this is. So I did want to address it kind of a bit, you know, get the good balance. So, and I want to try and keep this quick because I've just edited the rest of this vlog and it's so long. <laughs> the range is called Snowella. I like my puns and it was a pun that I had to use at some point in my life. It is a fragrance I have never done before. It is a very fresh fragrance. In fact, I'm going to show you the fragrance bottle. That's going to be one of the products that I'm going to show you. I wanted it to be a fragrance I have never done before. It is like nothing else. When you think of snow, what do you think of? I think of white, crisp, fresh. And that is exactly how I am going to describe this fragrance. It is probably, and I know I throw this statement around quite a lot, but I really genuinely do think this is my favourite fragrance we have ever, ever done. So, I mean... I hope that you like it. <laughs> Here is a special edition larger body mist of Snowella. Look at this. So it's quite Scandi inspired, like the designs with like the little trees um, and the fonts and things. And it has like a pom pom on it. It has a freaking pom pom on it. Oh, I just love it. This scent was without a doubt the hardest scent I've ever had to pick in any range ever. It took me months and months to the point where I think uh, the team at SLG was starting to panic because, and everyone to be honest, even my management were like, oh, uh, Zoe, you need to pick. So they sent me like this giant bag. In fact, if you go back to Vlogmas Day 13, Vlogmas Day 13, that is when I picked this scent and it was a joyous day. It was a really joyous day. Um, everyone was very, very happy, but that just goes to show you how long these things are kind of in the making for. I think it's really interesting, actually. I do kind of want to show you these. Some of these things aren't like this now, so, and some of these things aren't being made. Like, as, as I've said before, with ranges like this, you start off with all the products you like, but not all of them can always be made and not all of them the retailer will want. So you could create something that you're absolutely so obsessed with, but the retailer might turn around and go, actually, we just don't think that's gonna work or we don't have the shelf space for that or... So there are things on here which 
were going to work or we were looking at doing but we but we didn't so i'm just going to show you this anyway because the designs on this like these are some of the designs they're amazing they're really great um oh we were looking at this very bright pink here but we didn't actually go for that one i always keep these because they show such a story like i really enjoy looking at these to see how far along like things have come on and how things have changed and i just thought it might be interesting for you to see everything on here may be being made so there's a little sneak peek. I'm gonna show you one more product in real life. Rollerballs, hello. I've wanted to do these for so long. So you've got the gelato, the blissful mythful, and Snowella. I'm very excited about these. Snowella coming soon. Uh, when it is available, guys, I will be sure to do an in-depth video like I do with all my new ranges where I talk you through every single product, why I like it, what it's got in it, etc, etc. I am now going to attach this little bit of footage onto the end of my vlog and that is where I'm going to leave it because, again, I've managed to overfilm. <laughs> Oh, I'm really sorry if you hate long vlogs because, and they're not always going to be this long. I say this every time, guys. Don't think this is the norm. This just seems to be happening a lot at the moment. But um, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. I hope you've had a lovely weekend and that you're all ready for the start of another week. And I will see you again very, very soon. Bye!